Hi, I'm Dr. Shivani Bhatt and welcome to my endo tutorial Calcium Hydroxide as an Intracanal Medicament. The main aim of root canal treatment is to disinfect the root canal from all the pathogenic microorganisms. When these microorganisms colonize and form biofilms, it is difficult to eliminate them just by instrumenting the canals. Hence, other methods like irrigants and calcium hydroxide as an intracanal medicament are used as a, as a supplement to eliminate these microbes. Irrigation is a completely new and different topic altogether which will be covered in my next upcoming endo tutorial. Let's concentrate here on calcium hydroxide as an intracanal medicament. Calcium hydroxide was discovered and introduced in dentistry by a guy called Herman in 1930. It has an advantage on uh, as an intracanal medicament in root canal treatments because it has four properties. Anti-resorptive property, antibacterial property, tissue dissolving property and regenerative property. Calcium hydroxide with the chemical formula CaOH twice is an alka alkali in nature. When it is placed in the canal, it splits into calcium ions that is Ca2 plus ions and hydroxyl ions that is OH minus ions. This hydroxyl OH minus ions are responsible for its antibacterial property. OH minus ions causes inactivation of enzymes in the cytoplasmic membrane of the bacteria and that is how they kill it kills them. Also the alkaline nature promotes the osteo production of osteoblasts and odontoblasts in the periapical area hence promoting the healing or regeneration of bone. In periods. Calcium hydroxide when placed in the canal, the optimum pH that is required for maximum OH minus ions to produce to get produced is 12.5. To get this optimum pH, it is essential to have a thick layer of or a thick coat of calcium hydroxide inside the canal after the instrumentation procedure is over. This thick coat of calcium hydroxide is uh, possible only by liberally placing the calcium hydroxide in the canal. There are several methods that are used for placing this calcium hydroxide liberally in the canal. One of the method is by using lentulospiral in a low speed contra-angle handpiece. Something like this. This lentulospiral is coated with calcium hydroxide and slowly placed in the, uh, the uh, lentulospiral is placed in the canal slowly in this slow speed handpiece and it is withdrawn. And then a dressing is given. The other method methods also include coating GP points or paper points with calcium hydroxide, placing them in the canal, rolling them in the canal so that the uh, the Canals are coated with calcium hydroxide and then removing them and giving a closed dressing. The most effective method according to my clinical experience is the injection technique. In the injection technique, we use a tip like this which is attached to the tube of the calcium hydroxide and then the calcium hydroxide is injected in the canals from, from a pical end to the coronal end. Here the canal gets filled with calcium hydroxide with a thick layer of calcium hydroxide and the optimum pH that is 12.5 which is required for the maximum calcium uh, for the maximum hydroxyl ions is achieved. Now there are two types of calcium hydroxide that are available as an intracanal medicament again. One is water based or aqueous calcium hydroxide and 
the other is oil based calcium hydroxide or glycerin based calcium hydroxide which also contains iodoform iodoform is known to be antibacterial studies in vitro studies are present which says that it acts as an antibacterial more studies and further research on this is required the water based or aqueous calcium hydroxide is generally white in color and comes in a tube form like this and the oil or glycerin based calcium hydroxide is generally yellow in color and comes in a tube form like this now the water based calcium hydroxide uh is easier to place compared to oil based calcium hydroxide uh the release of hydroxyl ions starts on the third day after placing the water based calcium hydroxide and it gets depleted on the 10th day hence if you are placing a water based calcium hydroxide is it is essential to call the patient on the 11th day for change of dressing or for obturation depending on uh, how dry the canals are after the dressing is placed or after the calcium hydroxide is completely removed uh, in the upcoming uh, appointments the oil based calcium hydroxide however the uh, uh, hydroxyl ions start start getting released on the 5th day and it it has a sustained release of hydroxyl ion till 21 days hence the uh, patient is called on the 22nd day if an oil based calcium hydroxide is placed as an intracanal medicament the advantage of water based calcium hydroxide over oil based is that it is very easily removed from the canals uh, during obturation it is essential to remove this calcium hydroxide from the canals prior to obturation because it interferes with the sealer's ability to seal the canal uh, hence while placing the uh, calcium hydroxide in the canal care should be taken that it is 1 or 2 mm short of the apex there was one school of thought which used to say that calcium hydroxide should be placed uh, till or beyond the apex for a better healing of the periapical area now the uh, there is a little change here where people uh, stay uh, clinical people obviously and studies say that if the calcium hydroxide is placed uh till the apex or beyond the apex the chances of initial inflammation increases where phagocytosis of this excess calcium hydroxide occurs and patient might suffer from pain before the uh, reparative uh, reparative phase comes up to avoid this or to minimize this inflammation the calcium hydroxide is placed 1 or 2 mm uh above the apex towards the coronal area to avoid this inflammation from occurring this will uh, here the hydroxyl ions are said to uh, just go uh, at uh, go in the periapical area and do their work also and plus the inflammation is also avoided if the excess calcium hydroxide uh, stays in the apical area and it is not removed completely Uh, while obturating then a good hermetic apical seal is not obtained uh water based calcium hydroxide gets removed easily compared to oil based calcium hydroxide now there are agents that have come up which can be used to remove oil based cal calcium hydroxide efficiently but still i prefer in my clinical practice i prefer to use a water based calcium hydroxide uh i have to call the patient after 10 days uh i cannot keep the dressing for 21 days but it is effective for my patient also plus it is not creating any hindrance uh, during obturation so this is all on calcium hydroxide as an intracanal medicament uh any doubts please leave it in the comment section below and i'll come up with another topic another fresh topic on uh, in my next endo tutorials also and uh, we 
do conduct a two day training session call endodontics the insights this two day training session uh, has 18 hours of mind boggling continuous training on uh, endodontics starting from diagnosis to post end core it also has uh, demonstrations on screen demonstrations and very efficient inter interactive training sessions for more details please go into the link below for my next event coming up upcoming event on 28 and 29 january 2017 for registrations and for inquiries for the same please uh, go to the link below and i'll see you soon in my next endo tutorial thank you so much